All right, yo, so I'm about to go link with Jamie. You guys probably know him. And his birthday was actually like last week and I didn't end up getting him a gift. So I got him a gift. I'm about to go give it to him. I'm about to link with him at the thrift. And then from the thrift, we're gonna go take pics probably. It's like mad snow outside. So I'm like, let's take like some snow pics and shit. Here's the gift. Um, It's actually some film. If you guys know Jamie, man, if you guys see, seen his page and shit, I'm about to go check that shit out. He loves taking like film pictures and shit. So he always tells me about this like sick film. It's called Portrait 400. I don't know anything about this shit, but I got it for my first birthday. And I'm gonna film his reaction opening and shit. So yeah. As you can tell, I'm fucking tired. But yeah, I'm about to go leave right now and then we're gonna link with them and then I'll, I'll catch up with you guys later. So, gang shit. <laughs> oh, for me more. It's like clockwork orange. But it's not. I almost had a heart attack if that was real. What's a reprint? Because if it was real, it could have been like a couple hundred at least. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Oh, yes, you wrapped it. I'm dead. Let's open it, man. Here? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's a lot of money. <laughs> that Amazon Prime? The Prime, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Is it the right one? I have no clue. Let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> what if it's the wrong one, yeah? It may have been. How many millimeters is yours? That's 35, I think. Four. It's 35. What if it's not? No, trust me, it's 35. <laughs> Better be 35. Alright, looking for some denim right now. Oh, we... Jeez. That's a cop right there. Right. That's why you told me to film it. Okay, so I haven't seen this yet. I only got two things here. Nothing crazy. I think it's food jacket. Holy. Pretty nice, right? But here, ready? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> it's probably too small for me. It's large. It's a large? Yo! This is, like, this is like my dream piece. It looks shrunk though, but. I don't, yeah, I'm a, I don't care if it's tight, bro. I'm gonna I'm wear that shit. I don't know, yo. So, so it fits me uh, nice. Kind of small. A bit small. These are weird. Look at this shit. I don't know who the hell did that. It's okay. The other thing, like, I thought it would be worse. <laughs> That's not bad. Then. That's good. Is that a cop? Bro, I've been I was asking this guy for this shit, like to find me a middle swoosh. Chavez always wears this shit, but uh, you. <laughs> Legit. I've been wanting I've been wanting a, a middle swoosh. Explain. So this hoodie, I already kinda knew the value. This because since Travis Scott wore it. It like increased the value, so you can easily probably if I were to sell this, you could probably sell for like eighty bucks to hundred. It's not bad, you know. But it's not for sale. <laughs> it's not for sale. Yeah, and also, I feel like this is like a meant to be because then Evan just got me the gift, right? That was like crazy. He wasn't the only one that got a gift today, man. Yeah, I know. And then, even like, though I'm paying for this. And then shit. on top of that, Evan likes no drawstrings. Yeah, the drawstrings. and the wash. And like the wash. And I, I I just told this guy. I wanted the mid on um, middle Nike swooshes. Not even that. Like I told, I, I saw, I got this earlier, and I was telling, I was telling Evan, like, yo, man, try red, and he's like, nah, yo, red don't fit. It's red. Red fits. Red fits. I'm in the dungeons right now. Um, in the underground caves, trying to find some bear bricks because um, one of my homies, Dejan, he found a bear brick at Valley Village. So I'm trying to see if this one has it, but I'll, I don't think so. I love getting like little knickknacks and shit from my room. It's cause like just uh, make shit look fire, but yes, sir. Alright, what's the plan now? The plan is. We're gonna go back to my house, collect ourselves, and then we'll go to uh we're gonna get chicken wraps, right? Yo, the chicken wrap if you guys remember the chicken wraps, you don't put a slow-mo slow-mo clip on the it's screen like right now. Time you put the, the craziest th fucking chicken wrap. Cut the camera man. Hopefully that's just there. It's never there and it's like a cold day and like Well we had a good day. We had a good find, like we found Evans. Found my crazy ass hoodie. We found like I found some decent stuff to sell. I sold something while I was in the store. Go check out his uh, page by the way. Oh, we always mention that shit. So I got to go thrifting page. Now we're gonna go to this guy's house and then hopefully get the chicken wraps. We're okay. We're not sure about the chicken wraps, right? So we're gonna have some little bit of pizza. Let's be hopeful. I'm I'm just pretty in case. sure they will have it. If they don't, we'll get some chipotle or some don't. shit. But yo, positivity, bro, is gonna happen. Don't even worry. Journey for the chicken wraps will continue. I'll update you guys on the chicken wrap journey, but uh. <laughs> Signing off now. They know we been blessed, but welcome to the ball.
Oh yeah, so we're almost there. We're almost at the chicken wraps. Let's see if they have these chicken wraps, man. They fucking better have these chicken wraps. Sad day, man. No chicken wraps, man. Fuck it. That's the second best thing to do. Alright, so uh, no chicken wraps, but we got Tim's. Chicken wraps. What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another haul. I know I just did one recently, but this one is actually crazy. Recently I've been going thrifting a lot more. I've been figuring out like the best times to go, like best places to find shit. A lot of it is actually because of my friend Jamie. Check him on IG, he actually sells a lot of clothes as well. So if you guys wanna buy stuff and you're like in the local like Vancouver area, definitely hit him up, you guys can definitely buy some shit from him. But today, today I got like some crazy shit, like some things I never thought I'd ever find in the thrift. And it's all from like two trips to the thrift, pretty much. I did a vlog, um, one of them. I might put the vlog in this video, if not, I'll just, it'll be in like another vlog. That's pretty much it. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Check out my IG at Evan Lids, but let's get into the actual haul. Now I'm just gonna go in order of like like the order of how like when I found everything pretty much. First of all, we got a pretty crazy piece. You guys have probably seen like Travis Scott wearing shit like this, but it is a Nike. It's a red vintage Nike middle swoosh hoodie. And uh, if you guys know your shit, you guys know this is pretty rare. Like it sells on grilled for like two bills or like 150 or something like that. But these actually got really popular because I think Travis was wearing these. I saw Drake wearing this. I literally, like, it's funny because, like, a few days before I found this, I was actually with, like, my friend Jamie. And I told him, I'm like, yo, like, I'm trying to find some of these hoodies. I want to, like, buy some of these, obviously. And I was looking on Grail. I was looking on eBay and shit. Just, I, was, I was, like, da I was down to just pay, like, whatever, $80, $100 for the hoodie. But then, of course, we went to the thrift. And we found this. Jamie actually found it, but, but he knew I wanted it, so he just passed it to me. This was, like, eight, 8 or $9 at the thrift. Yeah, it was, like, $9, and it sells for, like, 100 But I'm definitely keeping this. I'll put some close-up shots of me wearing it. And it just has a really nice wash on it. And, like, obviously, like I said, I wanted it. It's fire. I'm going to be wearing this a lot, especially in the spring and summertime, because it's more bright. You'll definitely see me wearing this in a few pics on IG, but... That's that first cop, $9 Nike middle swoosh hoodie. Next up, we got some denim. Uh, I think I've talked about this for a while. I want to get some more denim, get back into that shit because I stopped wearing it for a while. Lately, I've just been wearing like a lot of sweatpants, cargo pants, shit like that. But I found these found these Levi's 501s, vintage Levi's 501s. Um, the wash is super nice on it. I put close-ups. Only problem is, is that they're a little bit too baggy, so I'm definitely gonna go get these tailored to make them fit a little bit better. Um, other than that, they fit me fine. It's just they're kind of baggy from like the legs and shit, but you guys will see the close-ups of me wearing these. These were $20, and it was actually 50% off at Valley Village, so I got this for $10. Very fire, very heat. Definitely pulling these out in the spring and summertime. Uh, once I, like right now, they're kind of baggy. I don't, think I'll, I don't think I'm gonna wear them yet. Probably wait till I get them tailored, definitely, and then after that, we're gonna, um, after I get them tailored, you guys will see some fits in them. But these were $10, just regular vintage Levi's. Gonna be copying more of these mad soon just because trying to get back on that denim wave i really like chrome hearts denim and this has a very similar wash to those so these are fire 10 bucks next up we got some real heat i actually found these all within like the same 30 second span and i got these all for 50 percent off so they are three t's first of all we got this bape just this regular bape t right here got this for two dollars which is that's absolutely fucked i'm not 100 percent sure if it's real or not I'm pretty sure it is because I talked to Jamie about it. I was like looking at the tags and stuff, looking online, and it looks very real to me. So, Bape shirt, this was $2. Next up, I found this black and purple Billionaire Boys Club shirt. This was also $2. Um, I got these all within the 50% uh, off sale, but this is regular Billionaire Boys Club shirt. This one's, I'm pretty sure this one's real as well. Another fire tee. And the last one, we have another Bape tee. The regular Bape tee, just like that. I think this is a Bape Cause tee, actually. It has a Cause logo on it. Bro, I didn't even, I didn't even notice that shit. Pretty sure this is a Bape and Cause collab. I didn't even notice that when I was at the store. That's pretty fire, but Bape Cause tea, I guess. $2 as well. Altogether, for all that shit, that's about 30 bucks worth of shit. And this is why I always say you guys should definitely go thrifting. Check out your local thrift stores because you can definitely obviously find crazy shit like this. Like, I spent 30 bucks, I got all this heat. That's like basically a fit right there and two extra tees. If any of you guys watching this are like into Bape and you guys know a bit more about Bape, uh, DM me on IG. I'll send you some pictures and I need to get this shit authenticated. Hopefully that Bape is real. Um, If it is, then that's pretty crazy. I'll probably just end up selling it or give it to someone or something like that. But um, that's crazy that I found that Bape. It was like on one of the racks and I found they were all kind of like together in the same little area. So I saw them, snatched them real quick, bought them 50% off, bought them the same day as about the denim vintage is gonna be a huge thing this year i think i said that in one of my previous videos so definitely go check out your local thrift stores vintage shops ig pages all that type of stuff so you guys you know stay dripped out on a budget that's the main thing you can make that's the main thing you can like get like like maybe five ten fits five ten different outfits just for like a hundred bucks especially when they have sales like 50 percent off sales stuff like that but that's pretty much it with this haul make sure you guys leave a like comment and subscribe for more videos let me know what you guys think of the stuff that i got and if you guys have gotten any heat lately let me know in the comments like comment subscribe turn on post notifications so you get notified every time i upload follow me on ig at evan lids and check out my spotify playlist which updates every single week that's pretty much it
Mine's Evan Lives MO.